Today we got another exciting gull wing video for you here today. In fact, it's going to be the last one in our breaking series. It's going to end this segment right here on our brakes <laughs> issues. We've um, What we've done so far is we rebuilt the front mast cylinder. We have bled the front brakes. I showed you where I showed you how to do how to do that and with a bunch of tips. We've replaced our front brake pads and now we're going to be doing the rear brake pads. That's right. Luckily, there's only one caliber we got to mess with. It'll be on the left side. We'll have to remove a saddlebag, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Now, for those of you that are brand new to the channel and don't know what we're quite talking about, look down in the description. We have other um, videos from this segment that'll be down there in the description. If you um, want to see some more gold ring repairs, check out my playlist or go to my channel page. You'll be able to see a whole list of gold wing repairs and tech tips and all that good stuff. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is remove that saddlebag, the left one right there. Yes, it's not very hard. It's very simple. In fact, I've already shown you guys in a previous video on how to remove your saddlebag. So if you're familiar with that, you should have no problem removing the saddlebag. If you're brand new and don't know how to do it, check, check down in the description. There'll be a link to that saddlebag video so you can watch that and know how to take it apart and put it back together. I do both for you so I'm, because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> And once you've got that project done of removing your saddlebag, come back to this video and we will continue on with this project. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get started removing the saddlebag. Okay, once you've got your saddlebag removed and you're down to this point and you can see your brake caliber, you're ready for the next step. We have two bolts here that are mount holding on the caliber bracket right here and right there. This is a 14 and that is a 12. All right, so get something with some good leverage because these bolts are going to be on there tight I'm using my long ratchet here with a nice little deep socket give me a little extra leverage to get these broke free and ugh. all right I lied I had them pre loosened but they were tight so be prepared I know I cheated see our brake pads and just what I thought not really worn down like the front but after all the bull crap we went through with the other ones we're gonna go ahead and replace this so I don't have to worry about this for a long long time honestly tell you the truth let's see if we can get a new one and see if we can see the difference and uh, not really a whole lot of difference I can see there's a slight difference so yeah just a little bit not a whole lot these things are not really wore out which is sad but after all the trouble i don't want to go through again so let's go ahead and get these brake shoes off pads brake pads off all right if you're looking at our rear brake here you probably notice that it's a little bit different than our front brake we don't have little allens up here we have this little bracket right here we need to take go ahead and take it off here so i'm gonna grab my wrench and get to it Got it. Now, now, I'd probably, I'm going to take these to the wire wheel, clean them up, and then we'll grease them back up. But we definitely want to get all the crud off these. All right. Now, our pads should come out, theoretically, and there they are. Just like that. And we notice that they got shims on them, so we will take them off and put them on the new ones, if I can, here. Okay, I tried to take these shims off. I don't think you can take them off. I think they're built into this. Well, the new ones don't have them, so... But they're not coming off. They're built in. So we're going to forget the shims. All right. All right. Now that we've got that, we got our, you can see we got our C-clamp here ready. To push our pistons back in. I'm using the old brake pad to squeeze them down. So I'm going to start turning and we're going to start pushing our brake pads back. Want to bottom them out. Now you don't have to use a C-clamp if you've got some big channel locks. Or if you got enough strength to push them down yourself, go for it. I just use a C-clamp because I want to use the C-clamp. No reason needed because I don't need one. All right, we got those pushed down. Easy as that. All right. Now, that's good. I may take some brake cleaner and spray in here and kind of wipe this up and clean it up a little bit. 
So I'm going to go clean up the little hardware, take the pins to the wire brush, and get them ready to put back together. All right, today we're going to be using our EBC rear brakes that I uh, showed you guys in our front brake video. And here's the part number in case you guys are wondering for the rear brake. Now I'll have this all down in the description, all the part numbers for the front and the back, so that way you can buy your brake pads. But here it is, fa 69 dash three double h and it comes with two pads here and they should be pretty good here so we're gonna get them ripped open and put them on all right as you can see we've got our brake caliber cleaned up took some brake cleaner and just sprayed in there and wiped it all off got all the road dust off of it so now we're ready to start assembling it so i've got my one brake pad right here and what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of grease on it like i showed you in the previous video not too carried away like I'm doing now, just kind of spread her out. We're now ready to put our pins in. You can see they're back from the wire wheel, all cleaned up. I'm gonna splatter a little bit of grease on here so that way it'll be nice and lube. All right, all right. If you see me, I've got my brake pads sitting in here, all greased up, as ready to go. Now we need to put our ends, our pin ends there. So make sure that this end with the little flange here goes on this side, because you wouldn't believe how many times I screwed that up. And then just kind of help it guide it in here whenever it get ready to um, align. I'd recommend doing one pin at a time. And I would recommend greasing these pins up. Now, I've greased these things up a couple times already. Run them through there, so I'm good to go. All right, there we are. In. All right, that should look like something like that. Now, we'll wipe off the excess of grease here, and we'll put our locking bracket in. There we go. We got our new pads on there. Just got to put it on the rotor there. But we are good to go. That was nothing to it. All right, so let's do it. There you go and there it is our brakes are changed and now you can put your saddlebag on now be warned now when you hit the brakes the first time you might want to go ahead and hit them so that these things will smash in a little bit and set the piston because they're all the way back and you can see there's a lot of play in there so just hit your brakes your your foot brake and these things should set after the first time now all right if you know how to put your saddlebag on great go ahead and tackle that if you don't Remember that video you were watching? I also do how to put it back to, together. So watch that video and it'll show you how to put this thing back together. And then you're going to be done with this job. Alright guys, once you get your saddlebag back on, you are pretty much done. And I want to apologize if you watched my saddlebag video, you probably realize it's one of my earlier videos. It's a little shaky, but you know what? It does the job. It's still a good informational video. It's a good step by step. And trust me, don't cut any corners when you're trying to get your saddlebag off. All right, you've got to take a lot of stuff off to get the saddle bag out. Otherwise, you're going to risk damage and stuff. And that's something you just don't want to do with a gold wing. Plastics are just expensive. I've said it a thousand times on every, almost every video I just about do with the gold wings. Plastics are expensive. Be very careful when you take this stuff apart. Don't force it. If it's not coming out, see what's causing it. All right, guys, that is going to cap off our brake little segment there. I hope you've learned something. I hope you'll get out and try this on your own bike. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you'd like to see some of my other videos, you know, go check them out on the channel page. All you got to do. Well, guys, I am going to go take this thing for a test drive. I have done everything. The mass cylinder is done. The brakes are bled. The pads have been changed. 
It has been probably about almost three, four weeks since I've rode this thing on the road here, so we're going to take this thing out for a ride today. It's a little hot, but we'll make do. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there. Sir, do you belong here? Do you belong here? That's not even my dog. <laughs>